Hmm, Mr. Krabs. You forget now, Mr. Krabs? Oh, oh, oh. Anywho, sup, welcome to the guide. I'll be going very slowly, as if you were a total Dex 11 scrub, so just follow me step by step. So, what's inside this video? We will be covering on how to set up IGP, how it works, how to replace all the textures, and finally some notes, some extra tips and, you know, extraneous shit. Yeah. So click these helpful annotations to revisit a point if you're coming back to watch this, or skip ahead if you've previously get it good. Anywho, let us begin. So first step first, go to the description, click the link, and download it here. If you say hi to the dude who made it, he's a pretty cool guy. So once it's downloaded, just throw it on the ground, doesn't matter where you put it. I just recommend the desktop because it's, you know, it's there. Next, open up the config file. All we have to do is set up one part and then I can show you how the software actually works. So click this little button here and basically IGP needs to know where your game file is. So click here and click on it. There you go. So that's the setup done, wasn't that easy. So how does IGP work? Well, basically it has two folders. It has dump and override. And basically, from the config, you can launch the game in one of three modes. None, which launches the game normally. It has dump, which will dump every single texture you come across into the dump folder. And override, where it will take the textures inside the override folder and override the textures inside the normal game. It is that simple. So, let's do a demonstration. Let's launch the game inside dumping mode. Launch the game and get the two little lights. Hopefully they turn green. If they don't turn green, <laughs> tap out this video, go directly to the source, uh, the link where you downloaded it, and look around there. Let's do the, the scope of this guide. So there you go. As you can see, it's dumping all the textures absolutely everywhere. Now, as you can see, it's all dumped nicely. So just to show you how the override works, let's open up that texture. So here's a very familiar texture, it's the first one you come across, and <laughs> apparently I've drawn a penis that says poise please, and I saved it. Uh, you will want to save these as a .dds texture, check the description for software that lets you save it as that. Photoshop does if you download a little extension. So here it is and it's saved. So let's copy this texture into the override folder. So this should now override the base texture of this new one. And there you go. So when we launch the game, it should recognize, hey, you put this override texture. It shares the same name as the texture inside the game. Let's override it. And let's take a peek. And there you go. So that is basically how it works. So how people tend to use the software is you put in a very select few textures you want, maybe a couple of capes and a few weapons, customize it, paste it to override, and it's done. But what we want to do is override every single texture in the game. So, how do you do that? We are going to make a very simple script and a new folder. So, make a folder called Put Your Image Here. And believe it or not, that's where we're going to be putting our image. So, let's copy. So, let's rename the image as well. Call it Copy This. So, whatever you want to copy, call it Copy This and put that in a folder called Put Your Image Here. Next, copy everything from the dump and put it into override. Why? Because we want to override absolutely everything. So just give that a second to paste over. All done. So how do we override the override folder of our image that we want to copy? Open up Notepad and paste in this code. Bam. Basically, we're saying from that folder we just made, find a texture called copy this and literally completely copy over everything inside the override folder. The first line sets the path for the override folder. The second line shows us where the copy this texture is located. And finally, the third line just copies literally everything over the top of the override folder. And if you do set up IGP inside a different location, you might need to change two paths at the very top. So make sure that actually go into the correct folder to wherever you installed it. So call it whatever you want. I was struggling for a name here. Decided on copy all the things. .cmd. 
You can also save it as dot .bat. And there we go. We should have a little file that we can click. So once you click it, you should copy whatever is inside the copy this folder all over the override folder. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward it a bit because it can take up to a few minutes. And slowly it's being replaced with our chosen texture. And that's all there is to it. That's, <laughs> that's the guide. Over. The rest of it is just kind of tips and troubleshooting stuff you may come across. Look at it. Glorious. Absolutely glorious. Now since that's finished, let's open up Dark Souls in override mode and see what horrific abomination we have created. So basically just launch the config, launch it in override mode, so we want to override all those base game textures, launch the game, get the two little green lights, and you're done! Mission accomplished! And as you can see, it will look very beautiful. <laughs> and as you can see, it's replaced every single texture inside the game with the Dandai Namco Poise Penis Please. Uh, a few caveats and a few tips. It will only replace the textures that we came across. Ooh, that looks nice. But it will only replace the textures that we came across in game. So, if you want to absolutely override everything, you will need to dump everything. So, teleport to every area in the game. Uh, wear different bits of armor, so if you don't wear the armor, the texture doesn't get dumped, and therefore we don't overwrite it. Now, this can actually be used for some really cool ideas. For example, we are back to Farlink Shrine, since many textures are being reused in many places with a really cool effect going on. So rather than all textures have been replaced, we have partial texture replacement. So basically, if you dump a few textures, you can get some really cool weird effects going on. So get creative. So, now for tips and notes. They may have realized that all of these are DDS textures, and it might be quite possible that you can't actually see what any of them look like on your computer without additional software. Luckily, the guy who made this added a really cool feature. Open up the config, go to the dumping directory right here, and click this little icon that says Convert Texture. And from here, you can browse all the textures inside that folder, and here I simply grabbed this weird four colored square thing. I don't know what it is, but you know, I've grabbed it. And let's do one up final test to show you how easy it is to just switch out the textures. So I've literally just dumped it into the picture your image here folder. I've called it a copy of this. I clicked the script and there, let's give it a minute and we are done. And as you can see, we have made very weird Windows 10 mode. So get creative. So hopefully you've enjoyed the previous videos and you want to give this a try. I mean, I, this looks really cool. It's, it's kind of weird Tetris Legoland effect going on here. So thank you for watching. Feel free to paste your images of your <laughs> horrific life scarring worlds in the comments. Normally YouTube would remove links, but I can go in and save them. So as long as you don't post images to Penis Land and or Dark Sword a stock world, and we should get along just fine. Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully you give this a try. I'll see you guys next time.